<laughs> Me and Logan went on the BFFs podcast last night. Oh my god. <laughs> It was George, a, it was died. live. You would have died. It George. was live. So so Dave Portnoy invited us to do a, a live show at Saddle Ranch um, with a live audience, and <clears throat> it was going great. I woke up basically from a nap. We went there. It was the first time I heard about this. Yeah, big audience there watching. It's the first time we heard about it. Too. Us converse live, and you know things were going great, or so I thought, because I looked to my left and I had to do a double take because Mikey just. Drenched in soak Back to episode one of Impulsive Man Boys yeah. sweating through every pore in his face Looks like a fire hydrant just hit him Is I it because alive? Is George, it, it was live? George, his joke or line to bring up was How about those crack pipes? I wanted to talk about the government <laughs> I wanted to talk about the government crack pipes but, but Is that why he you started sweating? But he didn't say it didn't government la- It didn't land properly He didn't speak properly <laughs> No, that's not true I asked- You said how about those crack government, pipes? Cr- government crack pipes. Government because crack I guarantee pipes. you that the majority of people watching the Impulsive podcast know what I'm talking about. It I was agree. a big story on Twitter. I agree. The U.S. government it. wants to start giving out Bro, clean crack pipes Portnoy, to Portnoy, the whole audience watching. Everyone's like, wait. Play the crickets. Go, Play the crickets. And it, oh, yeah. it, like this. Who's, who's that guy? <laughs> that, and I'm sitting there. And so as soon as it happened. And by the way, now to add on to that. <laughs> this motherfucker came in swinging. I don't know why. He was on a, on a, an attack like I'd never seen before. Called the nice, sweet Brianna girl <laughs> Olivia O'Brien. <laughs> who? Who? Wait, who? How who? do you say that? We just I did not, sat I did down. Not. I said, oh, oh you wait, said this it, on who a is it? No, no. What was Whitney, it again? Whitney Cummings. Oh, Whitney Cummings. I I don't know why I said that. I'm so sorry. Free. I, I, I. Also, I, Logan, we can't be putting down our retail. I know that, that's the other thing. Like, it's, it's the best. I street. love dude primes and <laughs> all across the country. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's why afterwards I was like, damn, I just like hurt a poor girl's feelings and like insulted our retailer. What? What's wrong with me? Sometimes I get in these moods. The comments were we were getting thrashed in the co- and and and. But the reason I bring it up is because oh God, I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Bro, it was bad. But George the reason saved his career. The reason I bring it up is because, guys, I've been having a rough time the past few days. I really, I really have been. I've What's been, wrong, I've been having just a, a, a back in this like kind of anxious state. And I, I like not to get too serious for a second here on this beautiful boys only episode, but like the most frustrating thing for me about the diseases of the mind is the unpredictability. Mm. There's no way for me to track, like, yo, why is it this week that I can't do a podcast? Why is it this week that I can't sit with my best friend and talk about shit on a show without dealing with this shit? And um, it's like, I I try to have these conversations with people over the past few days, even before that, because I I felt it, like, firing back up again. And it's so hard to talk to people um, that don't deal with the same issues and to explain that, this podcast, the night shift, the books, all that stuff, this is my second job. This is my second job. This is a job I get to do on days when my first job allows me to. And my first job is just being okay enough to even get to the second job. You know what I'm saying? And, like, last night was just a, a moment where I had to um, realize that I've just been doing a really shitty job of, like, prioritizing my mental health lately, bro. You know, mm. and uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of power in breakdowns, bro. There's a lot of power in them because they're they're moments of of uh, awareness for yourself where you can real realize that you need to you need to be doing a better job, you know. <laughs> and so like uh, like you know, well it's well it, it, the comments were like really happy to acknowledge that I took everything in stride and like laughed about it, but it was just an important moment for me to to real to really you know recognize that I need to be doing a better <clears throat> job. And like focusing on on real fixes, not band aids. You're right. A. B. I think prioritizing both mental and physical health is a top priority both. and should be in everyone's lives. Um, as your friend, and this is the kind of odd dichotomy to understand with mental illness. And I'm sure the audience can agree with this. Mike, you're such a jovial, fun person. And as someone who doesn't suffer from the same. Um, diseases, if you will, 
it's it's really hard for me to fully understand. You don't yeah. even understand. And so for me, when I see you sweating, I'm like, this is a, he's joking. Like, he's fine, right? Like he's, he's definitely doing it on okay. purpose to make me laugh. And, yeah, no, like it's or it's just I, happening. Or it's like he's just sweating. To me, he's just sweating, and it's funny. To him, he's on a full mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's hard for me because, you know, I, I never ever want to hurt my friend. He's a professional. He's so happy and and and. At the same time, I don't understand even a sliver of the amount of demons that are going through his head. But I want to, you know, and as I continue to grow and like understand he and you continue to be more vocal about it because you're probably the closest person to me who who goes through this shit. And I've um, always been a bit ignorant to it. I wouldn't say ignorant. It's just it's just like I said, it's just really hard to put these kind of things in terms that other people would ever understand. They're like, you know. My mom will always say to me, like, you need more rest. Ugh. You need to get more. And by the way, she's I probably agree. right to an extent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, but like, you know, like, I'll talk to people and they're like, oh, you know, I'm having a, a oh, I had a bad day the other day, too. I, um, you know, I got in an argument with a roommate, you know, or I, I you know, I didn't, um, uh, the flight was, was stressful for me because I don't like flying. And I'm like. You know, it, it's hard to make someone understand what it feels like to, to battle all day bro every day you know what i'm saying and to feel that 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 weight and uh it, it's it, and 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 it's just another frustration point for me that we've made so much advances in in science and so many advances in fucking space travel computing quantum physics like everything and and still mental illness just continues to be a dartboard bro where people are just like yo maybe it's this mm. maybe it's this well the brain maybe is, it's this the brain is the most undiscovered correct yeah. even less than space um i'm not gonna sit here and even pretend that i could even be in your shoes for me to like paint out a visual but all i know is this i know you very well and i understand why god out of any person would have to handle it is somebody like you to handle it so my thing is i know that you're dealing with it but bro you're here with such a beautiful mission that 10 years ago when you were going through even your darkest stages or however long it was, you probably needed somebody like you that could be on a podcast and be like, yo, bro, like, you know what? I got to keep it real with you guys. It's really hard. A lot of Hollywood back in the day was like editing the real and the raw. And you're actually showing up to work when somebody's listening to this on their way to work, being like, fuck, all right, I wanted to fucking just cry and not go to work. But if this guy has the balls to say this in front of the whole world, then I could at least check into my job tonight. I can make it one more day. So I know it's really hard to keep your mind focused on the positive things. When you're in the most deepest rut you could possibly be in, just know you're holding the weight that God wants you to hold. And I know that. And I know it sounds crazy for me to say that, bro. But I know you could get out of this, and I know you could lead tons of people out of this. He knows all that. No, I know that, but sometimes no, but it's, it's good a, to it remind you. No, no, no. That means a lot. That but this, mean a lot to this me. is where I'm like, okay, does saying stuff like that help you? <laughs> that, because that I know did, it's... That did, the way that it, and, and the way that he framed it, and also just because, like... But but honestly, like, the thing about it with with men particularly and, and mental illness, and this is a huge problem, is that men historically don't want to burden other people with their problems or be, and, or be vulnerable or, or be vulnererable and they that's and the they and part. they see it as a sign of weakness and a sign of lack of confidence and honestly like that's why the high majority of of suicides and mental mental health problem uh illnesses that go undiagnosed or untreated are men mm -hmm. because they're 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 bred to be fucking warriors alphas providers you know what i'm saying the strongest businessmen the strongest this the strongest that yeah. and they don't they they are they are trained not to expose and not to show their cards and to and to be vulnerable and talk about the things that are bothering them, and then and you end up with situations like Bourdain. You end up situ with situations like Robin Williams. You end up with situations where beautiful, talented, productive, appreciated people don't get the fucking help they need because they they are they are uh, too proud or too egotistical or too male to fucking talk about the problems. And so like. Yes, that does help. Hearing George talk about it, it, it the I'm mind, it's also, the it's mind also is, a, is the sharpest weapon a human could hold. True. So imagine your own weapon against you. So like, I get it, bro. The one weapon that you're gonna use against your enemies and your allies is not working against you before you can make a move. I could see yeah. that being paralyzing. I, it, I, 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 it could be. But what I'm saying is, I hear you, and as a friend, and I hope I don't cross the line with this. I, I hear you when you talk about it. I want to listen and hear you. But what I don't want to hear 
is that you, uh, and I'm being real, as a joke, you talk about like, oh, it's like, I'm having a really bad day and you say it so many times, I'm scared that yeah, you're kind of yeah, yeah. speaking it For and sure. bringing it into For your sure. life. I, I don't mind hearing you talk about it, but if we're gonna talk about it, I want to solve it. I want to figure out something to but like it's, overcome it's it. Not always solvable. Like I, that. But it's okay to just realize the problem. But let's not stick and focus you, on it. I have Here's, a rebuttal because I was actually gonna say the opposite of that, sort of. Okay. The one thing that helped me when I did have a week of like the worst mental period of my life. A month. Two months. Yeah, it was. It, well, you yeah, look. It was odd and unfamiliar to me because it, it never happened before. And it was the first time I got to. Wear the shoes, but I was really fucking vocal about it, as you know. I, no, no, I, I, I was you super, should be vocal about it. I, it. It helped me to to just speak how I was feeling, even though it was bad. And like I understand, don't speak it into existence, and you're you're gonna get stuck in that space because yeah. you're kind of manifesting this negative yeah, energy. Yeah, but like, yeah. th th to me, not holding it inside of I'm like, yo, I'm, yo, guys, I'm fucking sad right now. Like I'm sad. I'm not this, this is an example. Like yeah, I have no, no yeah. I have no problem saying that repeatedly throughout the day because I'm fucking sad. Like I, I think people maybe should be a little more honest with themselves and the people around them as a potential first step. Maybe. No, like, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on. What he's he you're Logan's hundred percent right. Like and and George, you're you're I think you're right where it's don't ever find yourself manifesting bad days in the future True. like I just, dude I, but, but but hold on the, yeah, the, but, the, but the reason why he's right is because that's step one that's got to be step one yo and you, you know this i'm not yeah, saying you absolutely. don't know this. but yo if you're having a bad day if you're having a rough time if you're feeling sad if Say you're feeling, talk to your people it, yeah. lean on your people and always understand that the biggest blessing that you have in your life is your fucking people mm. because there are a lot of people out there that have no one they have no one at all, and they're under a fucking bridge, or they're just out of the military, or their spouse has died, and they have no one to talk to. So always, always appreciate the blessing that is the people that you have to lean on. It's the most important thing that you will ever be given in your life. It's also on us, yeah, three, yeah, who know he goes through this, to check in with him and say, yo, how are you doing? Yeah, and also not you know, we, the line with we, jokes. We, we always are working. We're always doing yeah. something. We're always joking yeah. around. We're always blah, blah, blah. But really, like, hey, how are you? Check that simple friends, thing yeah. all of a sudden is like, hey, it forces him to talk. Well, you remember Kevin Hines? I was going to bring up Kevin Hines. He, I mean, all he, he said all he wanted was somebody Someone to ask say, him, hey, yo, how, are you, how are you today? And put their hand on his shoulder. How hard is that for us to do? It's, and you know, it's so funny that I feel like sometimes in life we just skip the, the things that are so easy and more common. Like, the little, little things are starting to dissipate now. I'm starting to realize that like, common sense is no longer common anymore. Right. It, it, it's really Well, we also spend so much time working at such a high level on such insane projects and you know this kid's taking over the fucking planet literally and you know you are and we're all building this beautiful ship that sometimes you have to take a step back and remember what actually matters on this planet you know what i'm saying your happiness the happiness of your friends your mental health talking to your family talking to your people like just make sure that we, let's always that's for all of us to remember let's always make sure that that's our priority is making sure that this fucking squad is good yo i was happy for you when you went on your vacation and then you text me and you're like, I'm going to go back. And I'm like, what are you going back to? Like, you're in this beautiful place in the montage, the montage down montage, in Laguna yeah. Beach. Yeah. He was like, he stayed for one night, less than eight hours. He like slept there, basically. Because <laughs> I was working on the And he's like, I'm going to come back to LA and, and I'm going to go see David and Broly and this <laughs> Citizen app. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Still, <laughs> you need those. 100%. You need those mental breaks where Mike was like, and you got to remember them. Turn Say off the phone or just put it away for a second.